Reinventing a major art institution is never an easy task. In Southern California, the art world and the public at large have been grappling with the future of the Los Angeles County Museum of Art, or LACMA, for nearly four years. LACMA's leadership ultimately decided to replace the institution's deteriorating buildings with a new one designed by Peter Zumpter. In advance of the construction project, the institution commissioned a series of works by New York-based artist Vera Luter. The commission came about when I got in touch with Michael Govan, the director here, who worked with me when he was director at DIA. DIA Art Foundation gave Vera really her first museum show, and I followed her work since she worked inside the factory that became the museum Dia Beacon. And we've stayed in touch since I moved to Los Angeles. At some point he said, if ever you have an idea, contact me, I would love to work with you again. And so I had this idea to work inside galleries, photograph art, and I knew I needed someone fully committed to my technique and my ideas. Moving a camera for Vera Luter is a very big deal. <laughs> Museums aren't so welcoming to <laughs> giant wooden boxes. So we talked about the pragmatics of that, and that coincided with our plans to tear down four buildings. And his suggestion was that I, in addition to working inside the galleries, photograph the buildings here. Luter's technique is based on pinhole photography, also known as camera obscura, which predates conventional photography. This natural optical phenomenon is produced when light enters a small hole in an otherwise light-sealed box, projecting an inverted image on the opposing wall. During an exposure, I'm always inside the camera controlling how the light falls onto my image and manipulating it. The exposures vary. Right now I'm working on one which will be two days long. When that's done, the photographic paper gets put in a light-tight container. I bring it into my darkroom and see if the image turned out beautifully. Vera has done work all over the world, in cities, dirigible hangars, all these amazing places. And I thought about how Vera's work engages memory. That's what blossomed into this larger project, and she has become artist-in-residence, literally living in the museum with her darkroom. Luter's project at LACMA, which is sponsored by Sotheby's, has three areas of focus. First, she's working outdoors, using a mobile camera on wheels to capture exterior views of the original buildings. I found it challenging in a positive way to photograph this amalgam of buildings that functions in a funny way but doesn't really seem to be one campus. Some of the original architecture from 65 is truly beautiful, but it was somewhat violated in a way with this new building of 86 partly just because they're worn down and the project in the 80s wasn't finished. I would say the majority of people think that this space is now fit into the ugly category. But Vera's pictures transform them. The kind of geometry of Pereira's mid-century architecture, the grids of the 80s postmodern architecture sort of come together in this abstraction that's quite beautiful. The photography I do of buildings construction, but also of sculpture, renders itself incredibly well. Whereas the two-dimensional I had simply never tried. For the second part of Luta's project, she's using four smaller cameras on tripods and two custom-built room-sized cameras to photograph her own selection of paintings from LACMA's permanent collection. Photographing two-dimensional works is a new challenge for the artist. Luther worked closely with Patrice Marondel, former head curator of European art, to determine which works might lend themselves best to her technique. When I first learned about Vera coming here, it was uh, very exciting to me and worth the challenge, worth the disruption in the galleries, and I was curious to see the result of some of those paintings. The first one happened to be spectacular. Imazanti is an artist working in Rome in the 18th century. It's a beautiful painting, but it is so much drama in it. The wind seems to be blowing through her room and her arms making this enormous gesture to stab her beautiful chest and she's looking into infinity. After Vera photographed it, it came out as a completely different Baroque object and it turned out in my mind to look like another staple subject of Baroque painting, the Virgin Mary ascending to heaven. And I think that's kind of exciting and helps you look at work in a different way, perhaps. I 
often think these mythological themes, of course, disguise other intentions. When I turn it black and white and negative, many charming or flattering aspects fall aside and one sees the essence. Finally, Lucia has constructed another indoor camera directly at one end of LACMA's largest European Old Master painting and sculpture gallery. This exposure is estimated to take seven months and it will capture the long perspective of the classically installed room. People are in the European painting galleries all the time and in a way, truly and physically, they've all visited my image and my exposure and it's a philosophical aspect I really appreciate. It's really a unique and incredible opportunity to work within an institution like LACMA and so closely and so intensely for such a long time. Remember that it is about the artwork. And museums, buildings are a means, a frame to have a deeper encounter with artworks.